Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be getting you familiar and get you started with HTML. Now if you've never heard of HTML or you don't know what HTML is, that is fine because I'm going to be covering all of that in this video. So the first thing you'll want to know is what HTML is and what it's used for. So if you're an absolute beginner, then you'd want to start off by knowing that it's a programming language, which is essentially instructs, instructing the computer to do something. So in the case of the game, you're instructing the computer so that when you click the left arrow, it'll move your game character left. Or in the case of a website, it will create a paragraph or anything like that. So HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Now if you can't memorize this just yet, that is okay. It'll come with time. Now HTML, well, also known as HTML5 for the fifth 5 version, is used to create websites along with other languages like CSS, which I'm not going to go too far into as it'll get very confusing. Specifically, HTML is the core structure of a website, meaning the paragraphs, the headers, the tables, etc. Again, not to get too detailed into the CSS, but all of the styling, the colors, the alignments, all of that things is done with other languages. So to give you a better idea of what I mean, I'm going to go ahead into a Chrome browser, and in here you'll see I'm on the Google page. Now if you go to Chrome Web Store, so you can go ahead to Chrome Web Store and search for an extension called Unstyler. So this one right here. Click it and if you'd like add it to your Chrome. Once you've done that, go to any website. Again, I'm going to go to Google in this case. Go to my extensions and click Unstyler. So all this does is make the page purely HTML, removing any other programming languages that is used to create the page. So from what I said earlier, the links, the about stored Gmail images links are there, the nine dots, the profile picture, this, the Google logo, magnifying glass X, search bar, all of those things. So what you're going to want to know, note is that you see that there's no styling to this page. It's just a pure foundation to everything. So now what you're going to want to do is install a code editor. So what is a code editor? A code editor is essentially what you use to write the code for your computer programs. So all the code you're writing to create whatever you're creating will be done with a code editor. So the code editor I recommend is called visualstudiocode.com and the link is there. So if we go into our Chrome and go to that link, it'll show you'll see a page someone like this. Now, depending on what device you're using, you click on that and install it. Now, again, depending on your device, you'll then go ahead and depending on which one, we'll open it up. So over here, we'll go to Visual Studio Code, open it up, and we'll see something like this. Now, we're going to want to click Open, go to our desktop, a new folder and let's just call it test folder and click open to open that folder now again you're not going to have anywhere to write your code because you have to first insert the language that you're going to be writing so inside of that we're going to go ahead and create what's called index.html now this is the file name you want to create all of your documents for HTML and then all other languages will have their own. Now I'm not going to dive into the coding in this video 
but I will get you set up with extensions to make writing code easier. So what you'll see on this right panel here is a bunch of different tool bar. So you'll click this extensions one here and there's a bunch of extensions. Now the most important one that you'll want is called live server. Live server. This first one here. So what this does is every time you run your code as you see down here when you edit your code, instead of having to go all the way to your Chrome tab, clicking reload, and then seeing the changes you've made, as soon as you save it on the code editor, it'll automatically update in your Chrome browser. So this is just a time saver. Um, when you're actually writing lots of code, it'll save you lots of time. Now the second thing you might want to get is a theme. So just search theme and scroll through them pick whichever one you like so let's say i like this one um i've installed it if you haven't you click install instead of set color theme so back to this one i'll click set color theme click the theme and the theme my theme will change when i'm writing my code so that's all there is for this video i will be creating more videos about writing the actual code, 